Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here with another video and welcome back to another video in Tullamore. So we're at a Tullamore model show here today. Uh, myself and Stephen are displaying and it's a big enough model show. It started, uh, it's currently about half 12, it is, and it started at half 10 and we said we'll get a video going. So it's we had to do the outro or the intro outside here because it's so busy inside the crowd is massive and it's it's really a good crowd here today guys it's probably the biggest model show we've ever been at and if it, i can't imagine what more your model show is going to be like uh, at the end of the month so we're going to show you what's inside guys there's a good few displays and a good few uh, different styles we haven't seen before so uh without let's, further ado let's get into it so here we have it guys, this is our diorama. It is the first time we're revealing this. So there's our sign there. And uh, yeah, the, this part here, Daniel done. And then this part here, I done uh, the yard and all the sheds and all. So we kind of had two, two rolls in this and they both linked together like the other diorama. Uh, they, they're, in, they're on two boards, so that's kind of the good thing about it. It's easier for transport and makes it a lot handier in that sense. But um, no, it's a tillage diorama. This time we have a bit of um, cultivations going on. So we have 6290 on the 4 for Oak Vernon plough. And then we have the 8870 across the field with the 6 metre Amazon disc. So they're about working the way and it's quite a big field so it kind of looks a lot better as uh, it's a lot more realistic than it being like in two fields and they're a lot smaller it's nice to have the one big field and then here we have the Ford 8210 the famous 8210 and the McConnell hedge cutter uh, with the amount of questions we got asked today guys about this Ford has been unreal and uh, it's really gained a lot of interest. So that's hedge cutting there along the hedge. We get the county 1474 that Daniel done. That's on the ring roller. Friends of our I suppose it's heading up the sack there to ring roll in some uh, after the corn drill. And then here we have the new case CVX 195 and uh, Amazon fertilizer spreader and JCB416 there is loading up a bit of fertilizer into the back Komatsu PC130 is offloading the, the low loader and then there's another new model the Sammy Galaxy 170 is on the low loader as well a few things parked in the shed, uh, articulated John Deere, the Kale Fusion 3 and a spare. And in the shed here we have the 3050 and a 3 meter disc, Amazon disc. And then the combine is in there for, ready for the summer, for harvest. So it's a, it's a nice size display, one wanted any bigger, one wanted any smaller. So there's a lot to fit in and we'll show you guys the rest of the displays that are on here. Here we have a uh, Glenn and Adam Fletcher's model diorama. Good few going on. There's savage amount going on here. All the big M's moan, and then the big X in behind. And there's even a a one ten ninety with a front loader, which I've never seen. Quite interesting. And the silage pit and all. A bit of combine going on as well. <laughs> bit of everything really. Round bale and two. Season like five. Thirteen years. No, I'm here. We had did it. We we, we had stuff. But we never never. Here we have uh, Jamie's model collection, quite a nice few stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> 
You may or may not follow this lot of Instagram guys. We have Owen's uh, diorama here. It's quite a nice scene going on, including a bit of a uh, farmer Phil's set up here as well. Uh, we'll ask him about that there, but it's quite a few stuff going on. Even have the 6499, well, 74.99, but it's probably the closest you can probably yeah, get. Yeah. And uh, how did you make the 6290 own? Uh, I bought a uh, Britain's model of Edward White and uh, I took the tires off it and put the tanker tires on. Then I to readjust the mug guards and line them up higher. And then I to put the wheel block off and set up the mink arm on the top end. So there's a, a front linkage after going on to it? Yes, good for me to have the front for the way back on. Very nice, you know that. I have to say it's the exact replica. Yeah, I think it is close to possible. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the brush is all well. Oh, you see that? And even the, you see the brush in beside it too. Yeah. <laughs> and same goes for the 7499. Yeah. Very similar. That's the ghost of the house. Put on the front there, yeah. So make sure to give him a follow on Instagram guys. Also on Facebook as well. Here we have a, he has a few more models in the collection as well. I forgot to include. And some amount of houses as well. Include a few crones, some of the older style crones. And here we have a uh, Pat's collection. You see this here at the Shamrock Model Show. Um, he's a big Fiat collector, so he is. He has all the feats, even the orange ones, and all the 1090s, two-wheel drive converted ones, and a bit of a different one, the Agri Full 140s. We're going to have to get And a very nice uh, Heston Baylor as well. Very suits the one eighty ninety. Twenty-nine of this week. It's not this week, 
So guys, here we have Richard Farnham's diorama. I think it's 150 scale. And there's a lot of detail in it. You can definitely fit a lot more in with the 150 scale. There's a bit of maze going on. Hedge cutting and all. Silage, bit of crowns work, groundworks going on. And he's put a lot of hard work and dedication into this one. Moving on. Actually, to correct myself, it's 187 scale, but uh, yeah, still very cool. So guys, we have a few models for sale here. Robert Brennan. Some lovely models, few rare things. You wouldn't really see. That's the original box and the old Universal Hobby box and the Massey. And I know they got re-released, but a few really nice stuff here. Orange Massey there. A few cars and lorries then. Lovely digger. But that's Robert Brennan. So guys, this is Thomas's uh, model farm. There's a lot to see here, lots of detail. Nice new Holland iron case. And uh, a nice bit of silage going on. Lovely John Deere 6920 as well. Fine display, it's lovely to see all uh, P uh, lads younger than us in it. And uh, here, look at this, John Deere harvester. Picking up silage, very, very nice. And coming in with the fuel bowser, the two vans. So yeah, that's Thomas's display. So that's it guys. We're all packed up here at the Tobor Diecast Model Show. Everything here is packed up. And so it's been a very successful day. Probably the best model show we've been at so far. And we're really looking forward to Moria, which is the next model show. We'll probably do, might do an announcement video for Moria since it's, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to go really special with Moria, so we are. And we'll and be launching a special product at Moria, which yeah. uh, hopefully a lot of you will be uh, happy for and excited. So uh, yeah, without further ado, please like, comment and subscribe. And uh, we had a lot of people come up asking for photos and Thanks very saying much, hello yeah. and all. So no we greatly appreciate that and sure it made our day. So see you at Moria and uh, bye for now. If you did enjoy, please like, comment and subscribe.